Why wouldn't you just swallow? Normally, I, I do swallow. Okay. Um, I have Cooper here for his interview. Great. And can I just say again that normally I do swallow? Okay. Cooper, it's nice to meet you. Yes, nice to meet you, Michelle. Firm. You too. You have powdered sugar all over your face. Oh, I guess that's why you put observant as one of your skills on your resume. You'll leave it there the whole time? No. So you guys have balls here instead of chairs. Yeah, we feel it's better for the mind and the body. I prefer a walking desk. Hmm. That's what I have at home. Put it at 0.6 and by the end of the day, I've walked about eight miles. I usually just go for a nine mile run before I go to work. You know, get the heart pumping, more cardiovascular benefits. Well, some say light to moderate exercise throughout the day is best. <laughs> some say it's worse. Hmm. My abs are engaged already. Congratulations on getting engaged. Take it where you can get it, huh? <laughs> so, you want to recruit here at Spark? I do. And you went to Princeton undergrad and Yale grad? Summa cum laude, summa cum laude. Par for the course. Oh, where did you go to school, Michelle? William and Mary? I guess not everyone can be quite up to par then, huh? What's the Yale mascot anyway? An asshole? It's a bulldog. <laughs> I would have guessed asshole. What's the William and Mary mascot? Someone who couldn't get into Yale? <laughs> no, it's the, well, it was the tribe. But they had to change it, so now it's like a it's like a bird. Sounds very inspiring. Since you seem to think you know more than me, how about we see who can take into account more factors in the fairly simple interview question, how many ping pong balls can fit into a 747? Fine, I'll go first. In order to calculate the number of ping pong balls that can fit into a 747, first you have to calculate the average volume of a ping pong ball. Point, the size of a 747. Point, the number of seats in a 747. Point, whether those stewardess folding up seats are up or down, therefore taking up more space. You mean jump seats? Point, luggage compartments, both overhead and below the plane. Point, bathroom. Point, waste container. Point, kitchen area. Point, uh, but technically, it's called a galley. Mm, technically, you're a guest. Stop stalling. Microwave oven in the kitchen area. Point, the refrigerator in the kitchen area. Point, the coffee pot in the kitchen area. Point, the cockpit. Point, uh, the, the place. Out of areas? We've covered every area. You forgot one small detail. Impossible. Ping pong balls aren't flat. They won't lie on top of each other seamlessly. You forgot to take into account the space between ping pong balls. You forgot to take into account sphere, sphere packing. packing. Guess you win. I guess I do win. We should make out now. Yes, we should. <laughs> <laughs> Did I get the jump? No, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> There's a man named Salazar on the phone for you. Oh, great. Put him through.